Imagine if I see something running past in the background. It's happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. <laughs> people. So the other day I got an email from a long lost friend and the first thing she said in that email was Sam, are you still in Korea? I know from your many question marks and many exclamation marks that that was your tone so don't deny it. But she hasn't been the only person asking me that question. I get that question quite a lot from people back at home. Are you going back to Korea? What's so nice about that country? Are you abandoning South Africa? Are you ever coming back? Okay, number one, would I have a tattoo of Africa on the back of my neck if I were abandoning my continent slash country? And I don't know what proves love more than a tattoo. And number two, shut up. So no, I'm not abandoning South Africa. But at the same time, I won't lie. This country is pretty nice to live in for a few reasons. Many reasons. Many, many, many reasons. So let me just tell you about some of the reasons I keep coming back to Korea again and again and again. Number one, internet. Now, if you have internet, sign me up. If you have fast internet, sign me up for life. South Korea doesn't just have fast internet, they have the fastest internet speed in the world. And I'm not just saying that, I'm not just saying that they have the fastest internet in the world, it's a fact. They have the fastest internet speed in the world. If you don't believe me, wiki it. Free Wi-Fi here is like air. Eh. And there's none of that nonsense of, you know, if you sit down at our restaurant, you get 30 minutes free Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm looking at you, mug and bean. I'm looking at you. And then you sit down, and by the time the page loads, your 30 minutes are up. Here, you open a page here, and it loads. I can't even use the word load. It doesn't even load. It just opens instantly in your face. And that blows my third world mind. Like, I, I click on Facebook, and it's just there. It didn't even load. Like, it just, it's, it just, like magic, it's there, open, fully loaded, everything. I live on an island in the middle of nowhere. And on this island in the middle of nowhere, we have one pokey, tiny little bus station. And at that pokey, tiny little bus station, they still have 5G unlimited Wi-Fi. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Johannesburg International Airport. I'm looking at you with your zero G, just zero Wi-Fi, just zero everything. Number two, if you buy something, anything in Korea, chances are you're gonna get something free with it. In Korea, they call this service, where they just, where they just give you free stuff if you buy something from them. Do you see all these free things which I can't even carry? I got all of these free things from buying two bottles of nail polish from two different stores. What? Back at home, the only way you'll get free things is if you buy those free things. I don't even know what these things are, but they're free, so thanks. Also, can we just look at their packaging? Like, just what? What? This one store gave me their free little samples in this little post box. It's a little post box. I mean, I find it hard to get warm fuzzy feelings in my heart, but even that is melting my icy heart. Number three. Now, this, this is probably the main reason I keep coming back. I mean, this country is so safe. I went into a coffee shop and I took all my toys with me, my laptop, my iPad, my phone, and I went to the bathroom. Do you think I'm gonna take all those things with me to the bathroom? No. And there was a queue for the toilet, so I was standing in the queue, and then I went to the toilet, so I was gone for a good 10-ish minutes. So I left all my things at my table for a good 10-ish minutes, and then I came back from the toilet. And they were all still there, exactly where I left them. You can go out for drinks, and you can walk back to your flat slash apartment at like three o'clock in the morning, and it's okay. I can't even explain how liberating this is. This is not something I can justify with words. It's only something you understand 
if you experience it. That liberating feeling of being able to walk anywhere, anytime, alone, and safety is not an issue. It is the most glorious feeling and is probably my number one reason of coming back. Nah, <laughs> it's probably the internet. Number four, Korea is the definition of convenience. And you would think that with the language barrier, things would be more inconvenient for me. But this country has taken convenience to a whole new level for me. I don't even have to do anything in this country. Like everything is just done for me. It's so easy. Except packing bags at a grocery store. I have to do that myself, but I'll let it slide. You can order absolutely anything online. And I mean anything, like you can even buy groceries online and they will get delivered to you within 24 hours. It will get delivered to you, to your door. I live on an island in the middle of nowhere. So you would think that maybe, you know, maybe it will take two or three days. Nah, somehow they still find me. And within 24 hours, I've got that package in my hands. It's mind-blowing. I know I've said mind-blowing a lot in this video, but this is the thing about Korea. Everything is mind-blowing. And speaking of convenience, number five, buses or trains or whatever leaving on time. So you know how back at home, if something starts at 10 a.m. It probably is actually going to start at like 10 30 a.m. In Korea, it's kind of like the opposite. So like if something starts at 10 a.m. You better be there at 9 30 a.m. Just in case. Things are so punctual here. Buses and trains are so punctual. If a bus is leaving at 10 02, you better be there 10 minutes before just in case because if it's leaving at 10.02 the door of the bus is closing at 10.01 and the bus is moving at 10.02 if i had one rand for every time a bus left on time back at home i'd have no rands the next one in korea restaurant tables have buzzers on them like little buzzers that you can press this is the best invention since Whatever the best invention is, this is better than that invention. Because what this means is you don't have to sit there and like try and every now and then try and get your waiter's attention. And then you look like an idiot because they're not even looking at you, but you're sitting there doing that, 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 that the whole time. That doesn't happen. Because when you want a waiter's attention in Korea, you just press the buzzer and then they come running. What this also means is that your waiter slash waitress will only come to you when you press that buzzer, which means you won't have your waiter slash waitress coming up to you every 10 minutes and asking you that awkward question of, how is your meal? Are you still enjoying your meal? Are you still enjoying your meal? Can I just put the first bite in my mouth and then I'll let you know if I'm enjoying my meal? Like, yeah, I mean, I do appreciate that you're so concerned and that you're checking up on me. Like, that's cool, but really, I just want you to give me my meal and then just go away forever until I want the bowl. That, that's really what I want. And that's what's so great about these buzzers. When I need you, I will press the button and then you will come. And the last one is the random acts of kindness that I experience. When I say random, I mean they're so random, but I appreciate them so much. Like I was walking home from school one day and a car slowed down next to me and the window rolled down and this little hand pops out of the window. They just handed me a sweet potato. What? Once I was crossing the street and a little old wrinkly man pressed something squishy into my hands and I looked into my hands and they were rice cakes while well, they were once rice cakes because he they were now squashed. And yeah, they tasted like his hands. But you know, it's the thought that counts. Ah. <sighs> This video has just reminded me of why I fell in love with Korea in the first place in my very first year. And please don't get me wrong, I still love my country. You're still my number one, South Africa. Even with all your flaws, 
I'm just saying that there are some nice things about living in Korea. Every country has pros and cons. And these are just some of the pros of living in Korea. And if you're someone who's hoping to come to Korea to teach English one day, well, these are just some of the things that you can look forward to. And trust me, there are way more. The pros of this country far outweigh the cons. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're a teacher in Korea, tell me some of the things that you absolutely love about living in Korea. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos every Sunday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And I will see you next week for another video. Goodbye!